Jurgen Klopp, the charismatic German manager who transformed Liverpool from a peak Brendan Rodgers banter era club to back-to-back -to -back Champions League finalists. And also a team that was one point away from dethroning Manchester City and sealing their first ever Premier League trophy in 2019. He made his name at Borussia Dortmund and joined Liverpool in 2015, improving the team drastically, however, with no silverware to show for it. A Europa League final loss, a League Cup final loss, and most recently a Champions League final loss. So let's change things around for Jurgen. We're going to take over Liverpool in FIFA 19 career mode and revolutionize the squad in a Liverpool Germany rebuild challenge. So here are the goals and objectives for Jurgen Klopp. Number one, the starting 11 must all be German. Number two, we need to sell all non German players at the club. Number three, we need to win Liverpool's first ever Premier League, a domestic title, and the Champions League final, which we will play. Number four, is we got a five season time limit on this one and number five we have to convert Klopp's Liverpool transformation into success by winning some silverware in this rebuild challenge all right here we are in season number one this is the situation this is the team we're currently dealing with and yet yeah, it's a bit of a weird one because there are no German players throughout this whole entire team not even in the reserves out on loan nothing no one is German at Liverpool at the moment the last German Liverpool player was probably Emre Jan. he's now at Juventus but Jurgen Klopp he's got a lot of work to do and replacing him with the finest German talent we can find and because all the non-German players have to be sold at the club that means everyone's going on the transfer list it is going to be a massive summer in Merseyside we're going to go into the transfer window we're going to transfer list everyone we're going to sell a lot of players it's going to be absolutely massive so enough messing around let's get straight into the season one transfer deal Feelings. Oh, that's right. Karius is out on loan. He's the only German player in this side, but uh, I don't really think we want him back after the 2018 Champions League final, really. So for the beginning of season number one, Jurgen Klopp has £150 million to spend. And we're not wasting any time here in season number one. Jurgen Klopp has gone out and picked up a marquee man in Leroy Sane, one of the heroes for Manchester City. And their run to the title is now joining Liverpool. The 22-year-old winger has been removed away from Man City. Now he finds himself at Merseyside, 86 rated, and we picked him up for 46.8 million plus Sadio Mane. He is going the other way to Manchester. But welcome to Liverpool, Jurgen Klopp's first signing, Leroy Sane. And it's another massive signing. It is going to be Andre Ter Stegen, the man from Barcelona, comes and joins us here at Liverpool for the German rebuild. He is going to be probably our main goalkeeper for this entire rebuild. We picked him up for 44.6 million pounds plus Allison. So the Brazilian goalkeeper is going the other way to Barcelona. We get Andre, Mark andre to Sturgeon in return, the 26-year-old, 89 overall. Welcome to Liverpool. So it's the first German talent picked up from the Bundesliga. It is going to be Bayer Leverkusen's own Julian Brandt, the 22-year-old left midfielder. He's 83 overall. He's going to join us here under Jurgen Klopp. And we picked the German wonder kid up for £29.3 million pounds plus shirt and Shaqiri. The Swiss winger is headed to Bayer Leverkusen, but welcome Julian Brandt. And it's going to be our first play departure for season number one and for the entire rebuild. Trent Alexander-Arnold for £33.1 million, the English right back has been the star for Liverpool this season in the Premier League and the Champions League. 19 years of age. He's off to Inter Milan. He's off to the Serie A. He's off to Italy. Farewell, mate. We also ended up selling the player that Liverpool fans love to hate. It is going to be Simon Mignolet, the Belgian goalkeeper. He's off the fellow Premier League side, Bournemouth, for £7.7 .7 million. Pounds. And we've sold yet another kind of hated Liverpool player over the years. It's going to be the Spanish left-back Alberto Moreno off to his home country his club Valencia for 5.2 million pounds a 26 year old is off to Spain farewell Alberto Moreno and we've picked up our first offensive acquisition of the rebuild it is going to be yet another Bayer Leverkusen player Jonathan Tarr the 22 year old centre back is 82 overall we picked him up for 16 million pounds plus Joel Matip he is headed the other way to Bayer Leverkusen but welcome to Anfield Jonathan Tarr and yet another purchase in the transfer window. It is going to be a midfield pickup, this time in Kerem Demirbay, the Hoffenheim midfielder. is 25 years of age, centre attack in mid, 
82 overall, a very, very underrated German player, and he should fit in well here at Anfield. Welcome to Liverpool. Oh, yeah, and we picked him up for £20 million plus Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, the English midfielder. Former Arsenal man is off to Hoffenheim. He's off to Germany, just like Reese Nelson, but these swap deals just keep on coming in handy. And here we have it, our main attacking signing for this season. It is going to be the German striker, Kevin Volland. He is joining us here from Bayer Leverkusen. We picked a lot of players up from Bayer Leverkusen in this transfer window, but they've got a lot of quality German talent. Kevin Volland is just one of them. The 25-year-old, 82 overall, is the kind of player we need right now. Not too much money to work with. We need just players to fill in those positions, and Kevin Volland is going to do exactly that. Start at striker in season number one. Our new number 10 comes to Anfield for £25.5 million pounds plus Daniel storage yet another massive midfield purchase another player acquisition here in Julian Draxler the ex Schalke ex Wolfsburg midfielder is off to Liverpool he's finally made big money move to the Premier League after all those years of rumors Julian Draxler the center attacker midfielder center mid the winger is a very versatile midfielder still only 24 years of age the 83 overall comes from PSG for Naby Keita plus 12 million pounds so Naby Keita he's gonna slot straight Straight into the starting 11 for season number one. And it's one of the fan favourites for Liverpool this season in real life. Andy Robertson, the Scottish left back. He is off to Bayern Munich in Germany for £42.4 million. Pounds. Probably our biggest sale yet. The 24-year-old, 83 overall. A massive, massive sale and will do wonders for the transfer budget. So it's back-to-back -back sales, back-to-back -back defensive sales. This time it is more business being done with Bayer Leverkusen. Not buying, it is selling Joe Gomez, the English centre-back, for £17.7 .7 million. Pounds. The young... 21 year old is off to the Bundesliga just like Andy Robertson yet again continuing all the transfer business we've done with Bayer Leverkusen in this transfer window and the self-proclaimed the best center back in the world the Croatian defender Dejan Lovren you either love him or hate him Dejan Lovren is off to Chelsea fellow Premier League opposition and rivals for 19.5 million pounds the 29 year old Croatian former Southampton man is off to London. So we've gone ahead and picked up a wing back, a German wing back. It's going to be Klosterman off to Anfield for 13.6 million pounds. He comes over from the Bundesliga from RB Leipzig. The 22 year old is 78 overall. 22 years of age, but is very versatile as he can play right back and left back and will be probably our starting right back this season. Lucas Klosterman, our new number six. Welcome to Anfield. And we've gone ahead and picked up yet another young Bundesliga talent. This time it's from Werder Bremen. It is going to be Eggestein coming. 21.6 million pounds. The 21 year old central midfielder is going to join Jurgen Klopp here for the Liverpool Germany rebuild. So welcome to Merseyside, Maximilian Eggestein. And it's the club captain, former Manchester City man, the left back, James Milner. Boring James Milner is off to West Ham, fellow Premier League opposition, for £15 million. Pounds. The 32-year-old Englishman has been Liverpool's clutch player this season, scoring a few decent penalties for him and just being... Just a solid player at left back, but he is off to the Hammers. Farewell, Hammers Milner. So we've stretched the transfer budget this season in order to pick up one of the hottest young talents in German football at the moment. Probably their best right back at the moment. It is going to be Bayern Munich's own Joshua Kimmich, the 23-year-old, 86 overall. Is coming to Bayern, uh, is coming to Liverpool, is coming to help Jurgen Klopp achieve this German rebuild challenge. And it came at a cost, it came at a sacrifice. We had to pay 18.5 million pounds plus the Brazilian striker in Roberto Firmino. A lot of fan favourites this season, but. We had to sacrifice him as he's not German. A soul for a soul. We get Joshua Kimmich in return. The 23-year-old, welcome to Merseyside. So a player departure here in Divock Origi. The Belgian striker is off to Southampton. Just a classic transfer move. A Liverpool player 
going to Southampton or even the other way around a Southampton player going to Liverpool for 10.5 million pounds the 23 year old fired Liverpool into the Champions League final and got that classic Merseyside derby win he is off to the south coast and a massive player departure here the Dutch midfielder Jorginho Wijnaldum is off he is off to Liverpool's biggest rivals I don't know if the fans are gonna like this transfer he is off to the Red Devils in Manchester United the 27 year old midfielder 83 over overall has made the switch to Manchester United for 34.4 million pounds. I don't think he's going to be a very liked figure in Merseyside anymore after that deal. So it's a deadline day. Defensive acquisition here. Jerome Boateng the Bayern Munich defender now 29 years of age going to be joining us here on Merseyside for 26.7 million pounds. 29 year old defender is going to be under Jurgen Klopp this season. Will definitely be our starting man at the back for season number one. 84 rated a very, very decent centre-back signing and hopefully it can slot straight into the defence and improve our team. Welcome to the Germany Rebuild Challenge, Jerome Boateng. So we might have overspent for this guy, but I know it's going to pay off in the long run. It's going to be the German wonder kid, the be pretty much the best German wonder kid in the game. Bayer Leverkusen's Kai Havertz, yet another Bayer Leverkusen wonder kid, joining us at Anfield here for 51.7 million pounds. The 20, oh, not even 21-year-old, the 19-year-old center attacking midfielder, 83 overall. Raw and will definitely flourish in our German Rebuild Challenge. So we've managed to sell Connor Masterson, the Irish centre-back, is off to West Ham, just like James Milner. This time, for 270k, the 19-year-old is off to London for a very, very small fee. And we've sold the Welsh wonder kid, Ben Woodburn, championship side, Stoke City, for £1.8 million. He's finally on his way. The 18-year-old centre attack and midfielder is off to the championship. So that is going to conclude Klopp's summer transfer market business here for the German Rebuild Challenge. We spent a total of 306.3 million and it ended up selling 187.5 million pounds worth of players. What a transfer window it was. Hopefully Jurgen Klopp has pulled off the right deals, brought in the right German talent for season number one in order to complete some of his objectives and not get fired. But this is what we are left with, the starting 11 in here. What a starting 11 that is. Hopefully they can get the job done. But we're going to see how the German boys do in the first half of season season number one. So we're sitting at the halfway stage here in the Premier League and the Liverpool German rebuild are doing quite well here. Jurgen Klopp has them sitting in first place. Pretty much where we want to be in order to win that, uh, win Liverpool's first Premier League title. Currently sitting with 15 wins, 5 draws and no losses. 50 points on the board. Spurs right behind us. 9 points behind with 41. Man United and Wolves make up the top 4. Meanwhile Man City, Arsenal, Chelsea all sitting outside the top 4. Crystal Palace, Huddersfield and Newcastle United all in the relegation. Zone. We're still in the FA Cup with a round three clash up against Newcastle United. And we got knocked out 5-4 on penalties to Arsenal after a 1-1 game in round four of the Carabao Cup. So the cup run's not doing too well at the start of season number one. Meanwhile, in the Champions League, our poor cup runs continue. We got eliminated to the Europa League after finishing third in our group there. PSG and Napoli both advancing to the next round place. Well, we're going to have to check the Europa League then and see who we've got. We've got Stad Rene in the round of 32. We're going to have to do some January business in order to get this team over the line in the Premier League and win the league in the first season of asking. So let's jump straight into the January transfer business. So we've started off January with a rather interesting transfer move here. It's going to be Jordan Henderson departing the club. Here. He is off to the championship with Nottingham Forest. What a deal for Forest there. They pick him up for £16 million. 28 year old English central defensive midfielder, 82 overall now. Jordan Henderson, a very divisive player when it comes to Liverpool fans, but he finally departed the club. So we've gone ahead and pretty much picked up our only January transfer signing. It is going to be Arnie Meyer coming from Hertha Berlin for £14.5 million. The young 20-year-old coming to Anfield. He's going to be just the player that we bought just to use up all the transfer budget. Our spare £15 million. It's gone to Arnie Meyer, a kid that can grow into this team and be a decent midfielder. Still only 76 overall. Got a really, really decent potential on FIFA 19 career mode. And that is going to be all our January business done. Jordan Henderson out. Meyer in. Kind of like a Jordan Henderson replacement. That is going to be it for season number one in terms of transfers. Let's see how the boys do in the second half of season number one. This is the starting 11. 
Let's see how they perform. So we did what Liverpool failed to do in real life, win the Premier League trophy. They failed to do it by one point, but in FIFA 19, in career mode, he's done it the first time of asking with the German boys at the helm. Still, it's no 97 points. Man City, Man United in fourth. Fifth and sixth belong to Arsenal. As we move it down, it's going to be Fulham, Crystal Palace, and Huddersfield Town all going down to the championship. So that is one big piece of silverware that Jurgen Klopp has completed for the rebuild challenge. And moving on to the FA Cup, we ended up getting eliminated by Manchester United, our bitter rivals, 2-0 in the semi-finals. And that sets it up perfectly for a Leeds United, Manchester United FA Cup clash. That would be absolute scenes if that happened in real life. In the Europa League, we ended up getting eliminated 5-2 on aggregate to AC Milan. They find themselves in the final with Olympic Lyon. And in the Champions League, it's going to be an all-Spanish final, Barcelona taking on Atletico Madrid. So yeah, it was the Cup competitions to forget such as the Champions League Carabao Cup and in the FA Cup we came so close. Kai Havertz ended up getting 42 games, 11 goals, 7 assists. Meanwhile Julian Draxler as well, big performer in there with 56 appearances, 20 goals and 9 assists for the German midfielder. Julian Brandt getting in amongst the goals as well, 7 goals, 6 assists. And Kevin Volland, our main striker this season, put a shift in and got 23 goals and five assists to show for it. Klosterman ended up getting 56 games in a left back there, going up to an 80 overall. Meanwhile, Sane in there, expected a bit more from him, but he's gone up to an 88 overall. 12 goals and five assists for the German wingers. We move on to Eggestein as well, getting two goals and five assists. So a rather successful season for Jurgen Klopp, getting that much craved Premier League trophy. But now it's all about the Champions League and a domestic cup competition. Let's get straight into season number two. So for season number three, we've got 200 million pounds in the bank for Jurgen Klopp to spend. So let the transfer business commence. So we've started off season number two with a rather tame signing here. We've got Philip coming from Borussia Dortmund. The German striker will be a backup option in attack for us. The new number 30 out. The 25-year-old striker slash winger is very versatile up top and at 80 overall is a very solid squad player. Comes to us for 22.1 million pounds. And it's going to be our first player departure of season number two. The ex-Southampton man Adam Lallana is off to the Serie A. He's off to Inter Milan for 9.6 million pounds. A 31-year-old now He's on his way out of Anfield here. Farewell, Adam Lallana. Well, this is probably one of the most unexpected transfers of all time. We finally sold Mohamed Salah, the Egyptian winger that's been Liverpool's best player in the last two seasons. He is off to Premier League opposition in Arsenal for £135.2 million. That is a very, very healthy addition to the transfer budget here. But that is such a weird transfer. Arsenal pick up the Egyptian for over £100 million. I, I think that's probably breaking in their transfer record there. Farewell, Mohamed Saleh makes his way out of Anfield and joins the Gunners. It's just one of those things that can only happen in FIFA 19 career mode. And it's another versatile squad rotation solid player. This time, it is a backup defender. It is going to be the man coming from PSG, Thilio Kerher, the 22-year-old centre-back, 80 overall. We picked him up for £23.5 million pounds, and he's going to be a very, very decent squad rotation player. Maybe even making it into the starting 11 there. He can play left-back can play right back, can play centre back. Perfect defender here. Welcome to Anfield, Filio Kura. So we finally picked up a backup goalkeeper for Mark Andre Tostergen. It is going to be Timo Horn coming from Cologne in the Bundesliga for 32.5 million pound. The 26 year old now is 84 overall and is pretty much a perfect second keeper to have. A second choice with the 90 overall Andre Tostergen. And we have another player departure here. It's going to be a player that came back on loan last season. Big boy Danny Ings. He is off to fellow Premier League opposition in Wolverhampton Wanderers. He's gone there for 8.5 million pounds. So it's going to be our biggest signing of season two so far. The best German midfielder in the game. Tony Cruz coming from Real Madrid. Lost Black Blancos let him go to Liverpool for the German Rebuild Challenge. 29 years old, 89 overall still. And we picked up Germany's best midfielder for £41 million, pounds, plus the Brazilian central defensive midfielder Fabinho. He is off to the Santiago Bernabeu, but welcome to Liverpool, Tony Cruz. So we activated the release clause of the young German defender, Nicolas Sula, coming from Bayern Munich. We picked him up for £59 million. Pounds. It was his release clause. We activated it, and I'm happy to play for it because... He's an absolutely brilliant player, still 23 years of age, 85 
overall. He's coming to Anfield and is going to establish himself as a big centre back here. Still can grow a lot and has a lot of potential on him. And we have a minor player departure here. It is going to be Pedro Chirivella. He came back from his loan spell in season number one and now we've sold him to Bristol City in the championship for one million pounds and it's another massive German central midfield signing it is going to be yet another man from FC Bayern Munich coming from the Bundesliga Leon Goretzka the 24 year old 86 overall midfielder is going to join us here at Liverpool we ended up only spending 11 million pounds for him but had to sacrifice the massive Dutch defender in Virgil van Dijk he is off to Bayern Munich but we Leon Goretzka in return and we also ended up selling another player that came back on loan from last season, Ryan Kent. The English winger is off to Bournemouth, the south coast of England, for £13 million, a fellow Premier League opposition as well. So yet another loanee from last season, Nathaniel Klein, the former Bournemouth man. He is making the switch to La Liga. He's off to Spain. Villarreal have picked him up. And it is going to be yet another minor player departure here in season number two. The English midfielder who came back on loan from Reading Ajaria is off to the Turkish League. League. He is joining Besiktas for 6.7 million pounds. And these players that were out alone last season keep on getting sold. Yet another player departure here. This time for a bit more money, 13 million pounds going to be for Harry Wilson. He is joining the Hammers. So we've added a bit of German experience at the back. Another centre back is coming to Liverpool this season, for season number two, and it is going to be the 30-year-old Mats Hummels joining us for a flat-out 50 million pounds. Hopefully, can provide some wisdom for the younger. German centre backs. He is now 88 overall, still at 30 years of age, and it's another player coming from Bayern Munich. So it's our biggest signing yet for 70.9 million pounds. Timo Werner makes his way to Liverpool under Jurgen Klopp, coming from Napoli. The 23-year-old striker. We finally picked up a decent starting striker, a world-class starting striker for this German rebuild team. He is coming to Anfield for a massive transfer fee, and hopefully he delivers for us the new number nine. He's 85 overall. 23 years of age, the out and out striker, definitely set to score some goals for us this season. So, considering we won the Premier League for the first time last season under Jurgen Klopp with the German boys, we're going to be going into the Community Shield up against Manchester United, the FA Cup winners. What a team we have built so far here. The starting 11 is looking very improved from season number two's transfers. We're going to see, we're going to test it out, see if Klopp can get some more silverware under his belt with the Community Shield at Wembley. Silverware to start off season number two on the right foot. Hopefully, we can get the win we're gonna skip it and our new brand new signing Timo Werner gets us the goal in the 37th minute it's gonna be the only goal of the game the most important goal of the game to secure us the community shield in season number two yet another piece of silverware yet another piece of silverware Jurgen Klopp can add to his collection and it's gonna be yet another diverse attacking slash midfield player Serge Nabry from Bayern Munich yet another Bayern Munich player joining the ranks of the German rebuild under Jurgen Klopp, the 24-year-old winger. We activated his release clause, 85 overall, 24 years of age. We picked him up for 59.5 million pounds, triggering his release clause. Yet another brilliant young German talent, ex-Arsenal player as well. Yet another player that came back from loan this season. Not Harry Kane, it is going to be Herbie Kane moving to Brentford in the championship for £1.4 million. The 20-year-old central midfielder is off to the second division. So the Serbian young midfielder who came back on loan from Hertha Berlin last season is off to Valencia. He's off to Spain for £11.5 million. And yet again, with another minor play departure here, we've ended up selling... We're just going to call him Tywo because I've no idea how to pronounce his last name. He has gone to fellow Premier League opposition in Crystal Palace. Roy Hodgson's boys have picked him up for £5.6 million. Pounds. A 22-year-old striker is on his way to South London. And our Champions League groups for this season have been revealed. We're going to be finding out who we're going to be facing in order to get out the group. And it looks like we aren't in the first four. We're going to be in the second four groups. It is going to be Milan, Shakhtar Donetsk, and FC Copenhagen in Groove E. And that's going to be the bulk of our transfer business done for season number two. The summer market is almost over. One hour to go on deadline day. £369.7 million spent by Jurgen Klopp. And we ended up selling £212 million 
worth of players. A lot of that was uh, Salah for 135 mil, but that is one hectic transfer window. We're going to end it off here. These are the boys going to go out and hopefully perform well for Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool in the cup competitions. It's a very strong side we've built here in the past two seasons. Let's see how they perform in the first half of season number two. So halfway into our Premier League title defence, we are sitting on top of the table yet again back to back 45 points currently with 13 wins six draws and one loss five points ahead of Manchester United in second Chelsea and Everton make up the top four Wolves Arsenal Spurs right outside Man City in 10th and we also have Cardiff, Nottingham Forest and Sheffield Wednesday in the relegation battle. So the Premier League is looking fine, but it's going to be first versus second in the round three of the FA Cup. We have Manchester United. So a bit of a tough draw there in the FA Cup, which we need to win sometime along this rebuild. And somehow, some way, we got knocked out in round three of the Caribou Cup to Wigan Athletic of all teams. And so the FA Cup is now the only domestic trophy we are in. And we ended up finishing top of our Champions League group. AC Milan proved to be no threat as Shakhtar Donetsk. As Shakhtar Donetsk ended up clinching second position in order to advance through to the round of 16. We are coming up against PSV in the round of 16, which is a very, very interesting matchup. And we should be able to progress through to the later rounds. And our only piece of January business to report on is that we sold the young 19-year-old English striker, Rianne Brewster, to buy a Leverkusen, 1.8 million pounds, and he is off to the Bundesliga. Farewell, Rianne Brewster. So like I said, that is going to conclude our January business. No business to be done at the halfway point here. Faith in the boys to get the job done in the second half of the season. We're going to go into the second half of season number two, see how Jurgen Klopp and the German boys perform. So we've ended off season number two with back-to-back -back Premier League wins here. We've won the league 88 points, 10 points ahead of second place Manchester United. Spurs and Everton make up the top four. Chelsea and Arsenal finish just outside the top four. Man City finish in ninth, but it's going to be Aston Villa, Nottingham Forest and Sheffield Wednesday all being condemned to the championship. So despite having a superb league form, we end up dropping it yet again in the FA Cup round three elimination to Manchester United 1-0 and in the Champions League we ended up getting knocked out in the quarterfinals 4-2 on aggregate to Atletico Madrid they're going to end up in the final up against Barcelona for an all Spanish Champions League final so yet again it's more cup competition disappointment for season number two but these are going to be our top performers for the season Kimmich getting 55 appearances our most appearances this season Voland with 12 goals Sane getting 16 goals and four assists improving upon season number one Julian Draxler in there with 11 goals three assists Tony Cruz our big money signing getting 16 goals and 14 assists Philip getting 13 goals and four assists as we continue on to see who scored some goals it's going to be Kai Havertz with eight goals and six assists there Eggenstein doing well Timo Werner the man who he splashed the cash on, only getting six goals, unfortunately for him. However, no cup glory for Jurgen Klopp's men. We're going to have to see, we're going to have to try in season number three, improve the squad even more, and go after the Champions League and a domestic cup competition. Let's get into season number three. Right, so into season number three now, and it looks like we have £227 million to spend, and a lot of it is going to be going into improving the depth in the squad, improving a few positions here and there. Not not going all out on transfers, but it will be an important window in order to improve our team depth. This is how the team is looking. Going into season number three, let's dive straight into the transfer business. So our first activity of season number three is going to be not a transfer, not a sale. We are going to release someone from their contract. Our last player, that is a non-German player, finally have the side be all German. As you can see, the carriers comes back from loan, but the whole club is now German. Now all that is left to do is win some silverware. And our first pickup of season number three is going to be Germany's World Cup hero in 2014. The man that scored the winning goal in the final against Argentina, Mario Goetze, coming to Liverpool for £34 million. And now 28-year-old centre forward is going to be a backup attacking option, backup midfielder as well. Just an all-round decent player and probably one of my favourite wonder kids in FIFA career mode of all time, pretty much. Mario Goetze was an amazing wonder kid. It's sad to see how far he's fallen now, but he's going to join Klopp 
Klopp here to hopefully get his career back on track. And it's another Dortmund player we're going after here. It is going to be Julian Weigl, the central defensive midfielder slash centre back. It's going to be a decent squad rotation player for our side, especially as he can also play centre back. The now 24-year-old, 83 overall, is coming from Borussia Dortmund, just like Goethe. And it is three signings in a row for season number three. Yet again, another ex-Borussia Dortmund player. This time, it is Mahmoud Dahoud. But he is coming from Eintracht Frankfurt in this career mode. The 23-year-old, I believe. No, 24-year-old centre midfielder, 84 overall. We picked him up for 43.4 million pounds. Welcome to Liverpool. So we're getting our business done early in season number three. It is yet again another massive pickup, this time in the centre-back position. Antonio Rudiger, ex-Chelsea man, is coming over from Juventus in this career mode for £35.5 million. And now 27-year-old is 84 overall and is a solid Antonio Rudiger, the number 26. Welcome to Anfield. And it's our fifth signing in a row, third ex dorman player. It is going to be Marco Royce, our biggest signing this season coming for 55.5 million pounds a 31 year old now is joining us here at Anfield for the German Revolution Jurgen Klopp is reuniting with a few of his favorite players here Marco Royce, Mario Goethe coming as well this is going to be a big big season still 88 rated don't know if I should have spent that much money on him but Marco Royce, welcome back to Jurgen Klopp's side and it's probably going to be one of our last signings of the window Benjamin Hendricks coming from AS Monaco he's joining us here at Liverpool for 18 points six million pounds the right back slash left back is going to be a squad rotation player for the defense for the wing backs finally reach transfer deadline day and that is going to wrap up our summer transfer business here with Jurgen Klopp for Liverpool we ended up spending 211.5 million pounds on players we're going to go into the first half of season number three hopefully they can perform well and yeah, get a few good runs in the cup competitions because we need it. Let's see how they do at the halfway point. All right, so we're halfway through the Premier League season here. We're currently in second position, three points behind Manchester City. Similar uh, to things going on in real life at the moment here. Chelsea in third, Spurs in fourth position, Arsenal in fifth. But we are still in title contention, though. We look towards the relegation zone and it's Wolves, Crystal Palace and Bournemouth all fighting for relegation. We are still in the FA Cup here in round four. We're taking on Stoke. City away from home so hopefully we can progress through to the next round because we need to win a domestic competition. We got knocked out somehow somewhere in the Carabao Cup in round three against Swansea City 4-3 on penalties and now the final is Arsenal taking on Leicester. And yet again, another important competition we have going on at the moment, the Champions League. We ended up finishing top of the group, a near-perfect performance. But we move on to the round of 16, and we are up against AS Monaco. A pretty favourable draw there. Hopefully, we can go as far as we can in the Champions League as well. So, no January business to report on for season number three. We did most of our business in the summer transfer window, and also, we don't really need to buy any more players. We can't really afford to anyway, so we're going to go into the second half of season number two and we're going to see how the boys do that is the side going into it now Goretzka at a 90 so we've reached the end of season number three and the Premier League season has come to a close we end up finishing in third Manchester City win the title Chelsea in second and we finish with 75 points comfortably in uh, third position. So if we don't win the Champions League this season, we still have a shot at getting it in season number four. Arsenal and Spurs just finished outside the top four. Meanwhile, it's Carter, Fulham and Wolves all getting relegated. And would you look at this? We end up reaching the FA Cup final. It's just like the Champions League final in real life. Tottenham take it on Liverpool. We're going to see how we got here though. Liverpool, we end up winning 2-1 against Watford in round six. We ended up winning 2-1 against Derby County. In round five, we won 2-1 against Brighton. So far, it's very close score lines. Stoke City 3-2. Oh my gosh, we got very lucky with the teams we got and also with the results. 3-1 against Swansea as well. So it was a bit of an easy run to the final, but the results were still very, very close. And unfortunately, in the Champions League, we got knocked out in the quarterfinals to PSG on away goals, which is very, very cruel after a 2-2 draw. However, in the final, it is going to be the team that we got knocked out by P uh, Paris Saint-Germain taken on Bayern Munich. All right, this is the side going into the FA Cup final up against Spurs. Uh, Julian Brandt is injured, so Nabry is taking his place. It's going to be a big one at Wembley. Let's see if we can finish out on top and get the domestic piece of silverware, the domestic piece of cup silverware we've been craving with Jurgen Klopp. And of course, he lost the Caribou Cup final a few years ago to Man City, so hopefully we can 
uh, redeem him here and win it against Spurs. This might be a bit of a taster to the Champions League uh, final in real life, but Cruz in there gets a goal in the 28th minute, breaks the deadlock here at Wembley, but Ericsson gets the equaliser in the 51st. The Danish midfielder uh, gets the goal to get Spurs back in the game here, but it might go to extra time. We might be looking at 120 minutes or penalties here, and that's exactly what it's going to go to. We're going to wait this one out. This is pretty nervy. Can we get the goal in extra time? Or it might even go to penalties here. It's going to go to penalties. And we win 4-3 on penalties. They ended up getting the better of Tottenham Hotspur. And end up winning a domestic piece of silverware. It is going to be the FA Cup. The oldest trophy in all world football is coming home to Liverpool. And there it is, Jurgen Klopp's first piece of domestic cup silverware, the FA Cup. So we've reached the end of the season and these were our main performers. Leroy Sane in there with 27 goals, 9 assists, 55 games. A superb season from him. Timo Werner as well, improving upon last season's disappointment. Kimmich doing decent as well as Kevin Volland coming off the bench doing well. Serge Nabry had to fill in for Brandt, got 13 goals and 8 assists. Goretzka doing well in the midfield, our highest rated player now. Otherwise, a lot of players just getting a few appearances in there. We didn't seem to have too many injuries or suspen suspensions this season, which is always a good thing. We always need some backup players just in case that happens. Leroy Sane, definitely the star of this team. All right, we're into season number four. We all know the main goal, the Champions League trophy. This is going to be the side going into it. A very, very strong German set up here. I don't really know where to improve, but we have 274 million pounds, so we might sign a few players here and there just for the fun of it, just so we can flex a bit with our German talent and money that Jurgen Klopp has to spend here. But let's get straight into the transfer business, if any. So I know I said we're not going to do many signings for season number four, but I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. The first man we're going to bring in this season is the centre back slash CDM Matthias Ginter, coming from RB Leipzig for 26.8 million pounds and now 27 year old is uh, 83 overall. I was planning to bring him in last season but didn't have the funds to do so. Ginter, welcome to Liverpool for season number four. And considering Lorius Carries' contract expired, we had to bring in a third choice goalkeeper and that man is going to be Arsenal's Bernd Leno coming to Liverpool, switching alliances in the Premier League for 34.3 million pounds and now 29 year old goalkeeper, 86 overall, is a very, very solid third choice goalkeeper and just shows how much quality and depth we have in this Liverpool German rebuild. Welcome to Anfield. So we've brought back a former Liverpool player and that is going to be Juventus's own Emre Jean, the German midfielder, was sold by Liverpool a few seasons ago to Serie A Giants Juventus. Now we've picked him back up for £38.1 million pounds and now 27-year-old is 84 overall. I know we've got an abundance of midfielders here in this German rebuild, but I just decided to bring Emre Jean back one last time to Liverpool. Welcome back. And it is going to be one of the most underrated German midfielders slash wonder kids in German football at the moment. Nadiem Amiri, the center attacker midfielder coming from Hoffenheim in this career mode. He's coming from Atletico Bilbao. We have picked him up for 36.8 million pounds. A 24 year old is now 85 overall. And yeah, we've just picked him up because he's a high rated player. He might get a few he might get a bit of game time. And this is our squad at the moment. It is looking perfect, picture perfect to win the Champions League. We've got the depth this season. As you can see here, such quality, such depth in this Germany side. Hopefully Liverpool can do the job here in season number four. Champions League title awaits us. This is the side going into it. Let's see how the boys do. And this is our Champions League group for season number four. Group E, we have Dortmund, which we've stolen a lot of players from in this rebuild. Spartak, Moscow and Salzburg. So hopefully we can finish top of that group. So it looks like we finished top of our Champions League group here. Spartak, Moscow making that second position. Dortmund and RB Salzburg all going home. So a very tough opponent to face. Hopefully we can make it through to the next round as we check what we're doing in the Premier League. We are currently sitting in first position only by one point though. We're into round three of the FA Cup. We're facing Newport County and I still don't know how the Carabao Cup still haunts us. We got eliminated 5-4 on penalties after drawing 0-0 to Shrewsbury. I, I can't believe that. No January business to report on for season number four. We're going to get straight into the second half. So this is the big one. We've reached the end of season number four and as 
out of four seasons, we won the Premier League three times. So very, very successful in the league for Jurgen Klopp and the Germans as we have five, as we have 87 points, seven points ahead of Manchester City, 27 wins, six draws in there, only five losses. Man City, Spurs and Chelsea make up the top four. United and Arsenal finish right outside. Meanwhile, it's Leeds United, Huddersfield and Newcastle United all going down to the championship. We ended up winning the Community Shield to second place Manchester City in the end, 3-0 before the season started. A big victory for Klopp there and yet again another piece of silverware. We ended up retaining the FA Cup trophy here back to back, 2-1 to Chelsea. We ended up winning at Wembley and this was the one we were all looking forward to, the one we needed to perform in the Champions League. We ended up winning 4-2 on aggregate to AC Milan there. We move on to the quarterfinals up against Atletico Madrid and it was a 3-1 victory on aggregate. We move on to the semi-finals here. It's getting tense. In the semi-finals, we won 3-0 on aggregate to Inter Milan. Barcelona won 3-1 to Spurs, meaning it won't be a repeat of what happened in real life. It won't be Spurs-Liverpool. It's going to be Barcelona taking on Liverpool in the Champions League final. What a run to the final we had. A chance for the treble. The last team to do it was Bayern Munich or maybe even Inter Milan. United obviously won it in 99. Now Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp's German men get the chance to do it in 2022 here. Up against Barcelona, it is going to be a massive, massive game. This is going to be the final squad report going into the final a solid team we've built here. A lot of depth, a lot of quality in there as well. We've got some of Germany's favourites, such as Royce, Hummels, Boateng. We've got an ex-Liverpool player back in there with Emre Jan. Cruz, obviously a bit old now. Draxler, De Hood, Goretzka. Such a solid team, especially in the midfield. And we've gotten some of the kids in FIFA 19. In terms of German wonder kids, Leroy Sane, obviously one of the star players. But this is the side going into the final game of the Champions League. Hopefully, they can become champions after this game. Let's see if he can finish off the job up against Barcelona. Can't wait to use this side. Chido Immobile is going to kick us off here. Oh no, 
Here we have Philippe Coutinho. Oh no, former Liverpool player has put it in the mixer. No, Dembele, but Ter Stegen was there. Gives it off. Havertz, beautiful piece of skill there. Tony Cruz, we need a moment of magic. Is it going to come from Leroy Sane? That's a terrible strike, but it's our first real chance on goal. Sane finds a run of Hendricks down this left-hand side. He gives it off into the middle. Timo Werner, what was that pass? But Kai Havertz is going to get it. Kai Havertz is going to shoot, and it was deflected. It was difficult for Allison, but he punches it over the bar. Timo Werner needs to get his noggin on this one. He doesn't. It's going to fall to Tony Cruz, though. Tony Cruz with a strike. It goes straight into Philippe Coutinho. Philippe Coutinho, is he going to come back to haunt Liverpool in the Champions League final? Sula gives it off to Havertz. Brandt, surely Timo Werner can do a little one-two here. Julian Brandt, surely is the wrong goal with the pace he's got. Julian Brandt, one-on-one -on -one with Alisson. Julian Brandt finds the back of the net, one-on-one. -on -one. The number 13, the right midfielder, gets our first goal here in the Champions League final at the Wanda Metropolitano Stadium. After a lot of pressure from the boys, Julian Brandt with a little one-two with Timo Werner and it was his pace that set him apart from the defenders to put him one-on-one -on -one with Allison, and it was a beautiful slot into the bottom right hand corner. He kept his cool there and slotted it home into that right hand corner. A beautiful finish from the 90 rated winger Julian Brandt. Lovely technique from him and we get underway here in the Champions League final. 1-0. Oh, Timo Werner is intercepted here. Can't be a second. It's found Julian Brandt somehow. Julian Brandt's going to offload it to Timo Werner. No, oh, Tony Cruz is giving it away. You wouldn't expect that from such a world-class midfielder. It's going to fall to Immobile. It's going to fall to Milinkovic Savic. And what a save from Andre Ter Stegen against his former side. As Barcelona continue to try to get the equaliser, we're into three minutes of stoppage time. And there it is. The first 45 minutes is over and done with. We get the goal to put us 1-0 in the lead. But there's still a second 45 remaining to see who is going to lift up that trophy. Werner puts a beautiful ball into Dahoud. He's come on for Tony Cruz. And he's nearly scored with his first kick of the game off kickoff. Oh, that could have been a great second goal. Oh, no, they found the ball through to Arthur. What's he going to do, the Brazilian midfielder? Surely not. What a block from Sula. But it's gone back to Immobile. And to Stegen was there to comfortably catch it. Full ball, Werner. Surely can find Leroy Sane. The skill from the German winger is beautiful. Surely the ball through to Werner. And that shot from the striker. Oh, no. Barcelona on the counter-attack here. Philippe Coutinho, ex-Liverpool player. Is he going to come back to haunt us? I can't click the player. Hendricks makes the tackle. And what a save. Yet again, Ter Stegen saves us from conceding the equaliser here. What a tackle from Leon Goretzka. We've won it back. Can we be effective off this counter-attack? It's going to be Julian Brad. Can he get his double? No, he can't. Sane's going to head that one back in. Hendricks puts it in the danger zone and they clear it. Hendricks back to Goretzka. Back to Kai Havertz. And what a save from Allison. Right, our last two substitutes in normal time. Kai Havertz coming off for Amiri and Nabri on for Sane. What a win back. Come on, let's seal it here. Timo Werner into Leon Goretzka. Leon Goretzka! He could have finished it off there. We've missed so many chances. And that is going to be full time. We never ended up getting that second. But we finish it off here with a Julian Brand 37th minute strike to win us the Champions League final. Jurgen Klopp has completed the Liverpool Germany rebuild challenge. What a game. What a team. What a video, guys. If you did go on to enjoy it, make sure to slap the like button on the video. Make sure to subscribe down below for some more FIFA 19 career mode content. Some more rebuild challenges on the channel. Follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. Turn on post notifications. Comment down below if you've got a rebuild challenge idea that you want me to do. But I'm going to be leaving you with the German Liverpool rebuild celebrations here at the Wanda Metropolitano. The Champions League is going to be lifted for the seventh time by Liverpool. Here they are. Jonathan Tarr is going to lift up the trophy. I'll see you in the very next video.